Welcome to another unwatchable Sixth Sense Media video. We hope you enjoy another low effort installment by Mike and Michelle, made with a special mix of marital spite and rampant misogyny. <laughs> So what did you think about another Cinema Snob movie? Jesus Christ. So, that's it, everybody. <laughs> Night, ladies and gentlemen. It's horrible. Like, why, why was it horrible? <laughs> no, it wasn't even a movie. Kind of. Kind of. It wasn't yeah. even a movie. It was like bits and pieces of scenes that don't even make sense. Because there's not, it's not even a... <laughs> Cinema Snob made a bad movie. And then he had to travel to L.A. to see his daddy, who's a big, big shot producer, to try to regain whatever semblance of a career he had. And along the way, there were hijinks. It was a road movie. But it definitely was not made for you. Or you. You didn't like it either, so... There were things I liked. Oh, no! Oh, if there's a Christmas in July area. God, listen, no, no, do not get distracted by Hulu. No, I've got it. No, no I got real TV. Don't no, even. No, no, turn on Hulu off. No, don't even <laughs> act like. No, you did not enjoy this either. So, no, I did not me. have to go to my phone. Do not make me. Oh no, you zoned out. Watch the fish jump in the pond. Don't make me look like the only bad person here. Okay. It was, okay. I'm uh, sorry, Brad, but it was not a good movie. But why was it not a good movie for you? Because you and I have very different tastes in movies. I have to watch garbage on a daily basis. But you're to into work. film and all that stuff. I am not. I could care less about internet celebrities. <laughs> Oh, we are internet <laughs> celebrities. <laughs> we made us internet we have, celebrities. We have literally we have people. <laughs> we, we have literally we have literally three hundred followers. Woo! Look at all those people that show up not to watch our videos. I mean, Jesus Christ! I've got an interview with the hottest trans actress in the scene right now. That's, it has no, it has three me. it has three fucking views. <laughs> so, that is, yes, internet internet celebrities. You are internet celebrities. No, I'm not even. I am just a guy that does this as a hobby, and honestly, I'm just about burned out of doing it anymore. <laughs> but, well, <laughs> but but you as someone that likes more pedestrian media. You know, you like your... More, like, finished things? More finished <laughs> production? <laughs> you, like, you like period piece dramas, and you like Orville, and uh, sometimes Family Guy. <laughs> I like things that are well-written. <laughs> I like things that okay. are well-composed. Okay. I'm sorry, okay. Brad, but... but you, also, you also watch 90 Day Fiance, and that's garbage, so how is... Because it's horrible reality, and it's just a train wreck. It's like a train wreck you can't stop watching, but this was a... This was not even a train wreck that you couldn't stop watching. It was just, let me off. Let me off. Let me off now. <laughs> I, I, I had to bribe you with vodka, didn't I? <laughs> to please sit and watch this movie with me. But no, what what was it about the film that you did not like? You have to be specific. You you can't just say oh, I didn't like it because it wasn't good. Like I can do okay. that. I can write a review and say one. That. You already know how I feel about Doug Walker, and I'm not going to say anything else. So luckily, his part was minuscule. Sorry, Doug Walker, but he had like a good twenty minutes on screen. That was more than enough. Why do you not like Doug Walker? He's not funny. He's just not funny. He's not funny. And neither his brother that played the Rob? male guy. 
Uh, oh my god, you remembered a name. I was yeah. actually impressed. I thought you'd be like, it was that guy with the glasses, and I no, had to be which he, one. No. <laughs> okay, so you didn't you didn't like the performance. There's more than one guy with the glasses. <laughs> I did pay attention. <laughs> All right, so you didn't like the performance from either of the Walker brothers. But, no. But why? <laughs> because it's horrible acting. It's just over. Oh, I, mean, you are I am not a good actor. <laughs> you are expecting so much from people that don't have sad cards. I mean. <laughs> we have you, sad. You've had, you've had to perform on screen, too. I have never said that I am an actress. <laughs> You went, you went on TV twice. I went on TV more than that, but... <laughs> wait, there's more. <laughs> wait, wait, we, wait, we, we, had a, we had a reality series, and then you were on uh, Say Yes to the Dress. I was not on Say Yes to the Dress. Hey, where's the hairstylist? That was not Say Yes to the Dress. That I was thought... a TLC makeover story. That was oh, never show. mind. <laughs> Say Yes to the Dress didn't even exist back then. Oh, that was that, that, was that one bitch that came to our house for the, the filming of the finale. Cynthia. The one, she was in Say Yes to the Dress, and um, she was in ours. Okay, so. So. All right, what did you not like about the performances? I don't understand. Okay, I'm sorry, Brad. I don't get the glasses without the lenses thing. It, it looks so fake. <laughs> it, just it, looks is, it is part of the co- It is costume. But there's no lenses. Just put some fake plastic in there. He even it makes real. that point in the I know movie. it makes the point in the movie, but... Yeah, I cannot Why? suspend my disbelief that this is costume. Uh, it just... If we watch Downton Abbey and I look and say, I bet those glasses are not prescription, you're going to go all up my ass about why it's costume. <laughs> but then you're going to be like, oh, but it's Downton Abbey. It's better because it <laughs> appeared on PBS. <laughs> it's PBS! Listen, we have watched those fan series, those Star Wars fan series things on YouTube. Fan films. There you go. Okay. They do a wonderful job. Okay. I'm sorry, but there's a plot. It's like a mini movie. It's like an actual mini, Correct. highly a, productive, productive movie. It has high production values. Yes. Is that what you're trying to say, White? <laughs> Is that what? Did you finish the vodka? Oh. There was so little left. There's no way you could be drunk off of that. No, but I just... Okay, it's... No. Okay, and also, those fan films are like 15 minutes long. This was an hour and 40 minutes. Well, if you're gonna spend money on it, spend on the money and do it well. Otherwise, it's a waste. <laughs> I spent an hour and 40 minutes of my life I'm never gonna get it back watching You that. sound like a female Doug Walker. Not Lindsay, that bitch, but you sound like... <laughs> Even compare me to Lindsay, I am not that bitch. Don't even. You have to make sure you take that word out of there. But I am not Lindsay. Don't compare me to her. Do not compare me to her at all. Are you crying? No, I'm laughing. Don't compare me to her. <laughs> like it's not the time of the month. Why are you crying? No, about this? Do not compare me. Okay, to her. so because the the level of acting was not up to par with fan it's films just on so YouTube. Random. Like where did the the what was the cycle guy? What is whatever? Bicycle. Bicycle. What the? What the hell? I mean, it just—it's so random. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. What was random about? It kind of just comes things. up, and then they and Shelly, and they come up to the table. Then all of a sudden, we're going on this adventure, but there's no leading up to it. It's just okay. Yeah, there we're was. In this there was one. that. No, there wasn't. Was. They're standing at the table, and the next thing you know, they're in a van. We rented a van. We're at a bar, then we rented a van. Nope, this isn't how things happen. There, it's like it it's like you're <laughs> sitting here drunk and you smoke some meth, and all of a sudden there's these like oh my God. parts that you just don't understand. <laughs> like, did you do drugs? A lot of drugs when you're making this movie because it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. Okay, <laughs> did you miss that like whole like ten minute scene where they were in the bar? No, they were drunk? in the bar getting drunk. I understand that, but they didn't. Say anything about renting a van and going to see his dad. <sighs> All of a sudden, we're just in a van okay. with no coats on in the middle of snow. But hey, I'm okay. In my short skirt, my midriff showing, and there's snow all around. What the fuck? It's freezing if there's snow. <laughs> 
below freezing. You gotta be below <laughs> you are, freezing. You are nitpicking the weirdest shit. <laughs> the horrible. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry, Brad. Sorry. Okay. All right. Let's. <laughs> oh my god. This is why I don't write reviews anymore. <laughs> on the part of a couple people. I didn't like the acting of most of the people. Okay, whose acting did you like? Oh, no. <laughs> Are you going to say Laura? No, like, the only one that seemed consistent was Brad. Y yeah? I think the, the issue is when you write when you write a movie that you're also starring in and you're writing a character that you play, you're going to write dialogue that you know that you can perform well. But then when you're writing dialogue for other people, and you have people that aren't... They aren't acting. acting? No, <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that, because I don't... <laughs> I have not seen enough of the other actors' stuff to say if they're good or not. I've, I've seen Tamara in a few things over the past couple years, and it's all right, but... When you write for yourself, it's a lot easier because you know, like, if I were to write for me, I know exactly what I say, and I know how to say what I say. That's why everyone that reads my shit is like, when I read it, I, it sounds exactly like you. Because there's no disconnect. I'm an asshole, and everything I write is me writing as an asshole. <laughs> right. But when if I wrote dialogue for you, I know it would be utterly atrocious because I'm not you. Right. <laughs> I'm not a good writer. So... That my point is fine and valid because I thought Brad was consistent. Okay, so one person out of all yes. the cast. What about Lloyd Kaufman at the end? I don't have. I don't know who that. I mean, I know who he played in the movie, but I don't have any context to relate him to because I've never <laughs> okay. seen him. What about what about Mazda Miata guy? Oh Jesus Christ! He just looks like a. I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what the point of that was. Like, what was the point that, of it? I think that was just was for a... Point? I think that was for a plot convenience at the end. That there was right. money involved. But at the same time, you cannot intimidate me if you're driving a Mazda Miata. That'd be like me getting out of my Mini and then trying to start a fight. <laughs> well, I mean, until I actually well, got out of the Mini. you see that I'm... Yeah, you you see I'm six foot one and then almost 300 pounds. You could be like, oh, shit. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have fucked with the guy driving the Mini. It's just... <laughs> And the guy, the part in the beginning with the spaceships, that's what... Well, that was the point. The point was for it to be a bad movie and it bombed. Well, that's fine, but give the guy, give, give the guy a jacket guy? that fits him. Which guy? The, the heavy set guy. The blue uh, alien guy. The blue alien guy. Give him a jacket that fits him, all right? You made a comment about what he was doing with the gun. What was... What was I'm that? not going to say that. You, you said that it looked like he was stroking the cock, the gun like it was a cock, stroking the cock like it was a gun. I mean, it was an NRA that guy just a little too aggressively and stroking it a little too much, right? I'm sorry, but I'm a little too happy. Okay. Give him a jacket that fits. Was there anything in the movie that worked for you? The end. When it ended. The credits? <laughs> The credits were were well performed, so so nothing about the movie like because when we watch clips, you laughed at some of the. The clips. only part that was kind of funny was when we watched the clip about when they went into the kitchen and Brad's wife was there, but that was turned out to not be very funny in the movie. So in the context of the movie, it wasn't funny, but stand as a standalone bit, it was funny. It was yeah, standalone. But then you're like in the movie, and it's just like, are we there yet? Are we to the end? Are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. Okay, we're we're still. Oh God, is it over yet? But I'm sorry, Brad. Back to the drawing board. Make a good movie next time. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Go back to reviewing. I like the reviews. <laughs> Maybe the, the film, these films that are made by internet celebrities are strictly made for their audience and not for people like you. Probably. <laughs> so if I were to make a movie, it probably would not appeal to you, even you being my wife. Probably You'd be not. like, this is total shit. I'd be like, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you know my feelings on YouTube. I'm new to YouTube. If it starred Donut Operator, oh, you would be nothing. totally, you would be moist in the pants, 
you would you would be He's hot! You'd be Donut staring operator is hot. You'd be staring at his mustache, you'd probably have your hand in your pants, you know, <laughs> this is the greatest movie ever, and I'd be like, it was just him talking about guns for an hour. And maybe bark bark and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying the Donut audience. Operator. That's who Brad needs in this next movie. Make a good movie, get Donut Operator. And Mark Dice. Mark Dice talked about no because Mark Dice would conflict with the whole SJW thing, and then it would be just uh, turning into. Are you saying there were some social politics in this oh, movie of that course you didn't like? Social politics. It's YouTube creators. Of course, there's social politics. Oh my god. What are your constructive criticisms of this movie? Constructive, not just being a bitch. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't have any constructive criticisms. Because then this, it's all going to come out wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> everything I say is going to be said not correctly, so I'm not going to. If you don't have anything nice to say, you don't say anything at all. What have you been doing for like the last 20 minutes? <laughs> I think it was shot well for most of the shots. Well, that's something you know more than I do. I can't tell you. You can, look at, you can well. look at a movie and be like, that looks like it's shot with a nice camera and a good cinematographer. But then there were things that didn't match up, like the scenes at the table at the Comic-Con, and then the stock footage of Comic-Con mixed into it. The lighting was totally So I gotta different. say, my, my favorite part with that is when, uh, what's Brad's wife's name? Laura. Gets shot with the bullet holes in the glass, and then the next shot, the glass is beautifully clean. Are you saying there was a, uh, <laughs> there was a continuity there, issue? There was a slight continuity issue. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that some of the Wizard World signs weren't blurred. <laughs> like, uh, ooh, that could be a little bit of a legal issue. <laughs> see. So you, you did not approve. No, how many times do you even ask me? No, I'm just, I'm just trying. You did not care for it either. Some parts I did. There were, there was dialogue. You just like the part with the vagina thing. Of course, because I'm a misogynist. <laughs> Stop the press. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> hanging out, and then they just ran away from her. I mean, come on. Where'd she go? She, what happened I there? think she was dead. No, she was standing up and said something, and then they just walked away. She, where, she was gone. So this one random victim yeah. that was on screen for ten seconds was, was something you wanted to know more about. Yeah, why not? She's got her guts hanging out. Let's find out more. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Was there, a, was there a sentence in there? It's like, that's ah, 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 my ah. opinion. That's my opinion. You want to make a movie now? Nope. You sure? Yep. So what are you going to watch as a palate cleanser for this? I don't know yet. It better not be Downton Abbey. I've already rewatched it. I know. <laughs> but you're going to do it again? No. <laughs> Movie's coming out soon. Sorry, Brad. <laughs> okay, well, um <laughs> next time around. Yeah, I really I did it, it okay. <laughs> and don't put Doug Walker.